We begin with breaking news on the fiscal cliff. The Senate approved a last minute deal overnight, barely missing the deadline. The House could vote on it today. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill with more this morning. Nancy, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Terrell. Happy New Year. Well, there is just one major hurdle left for this fiscal cliff deal, and that is a vote later today in the House of Representatives, perhaps as early as 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The Senate voted well after the ball dropped at the early hours of the morning. The passed overwhelmingly with lots of support from both sides. In fact, the final tally was 89 to 8. It shouldn't have taken us this long to come to an agreement, and this shouldn't be the model for how we do things around here, but I appreciate uh, the Vice President's willingness to get this done for the country. Vice President Biden negotiated the deal with Senate Republicans over the weekend, but he also came to the Hill last night to sell Democrats on the plan, some of whom thought there were too many tax giveaways to the rich in this deal. The plan makes permanent the Bush-era tax cuts on individuals making under $400,000 a year. It also does the same for $450,000 worth of income for families. It also postpones harsh across-the-board spending cuts for a couple of months. And now all eyes turn to the House. The Speaker said last night he would hold a vote today, but that he couldn't guarantee the House would support it until members had a chance to take a look at it. Terrell. All righty, Nancy Cordes in Washington this morning. Nancy, thank you so much.